Okay. This video is to demonstrate, demonstrate how to set the transfer from the spool chain to the pl plastic egg conveying chain. This has not been tested yet, so we'll see how we did. Not very well. If you've got that happening with your machine, you've got some issues. So how do we fix that? Well, what we do is we work on the relationship between these two chains by adjusting this, this sprocket, the timing sprocket. And we will also make sure the location of our plastic triangle is where it needs to be. And also talk about the, the aluminum transfer. So to begin with, we'll, we will take the timing chain off. And that will allow us to look at the position of our plastic triangle. The triangle should be rotated back till it's nearly touching the spool behind it. If it's rotated too far forward, say midway between the two spools, then uh, that will cause issues and you'll never get the transfer. You'll never get what you want out of that transfer. This can be changed, adjusted by, there's an Allen screw in here, a set screw. There's three of them, one on each tip of the triangle. So you can loosen those and rotate it back. As you can see, this one is already nearly touching the spool behind it. So it's in the proper position. Now, as far as our aluminum transfer, it should be in a down, slight downhill slope in the direction of the egg travel. Um, should be flush level with or flush with or slightly above the white plastic lead-in rails so that the egg rolls smoothly across there. And so now, so we have this transfer at a slight slope. We have the plastic triangle in position. So now we'll look at our, the relationship here, our timing between the two chains. So we'll put this back on. Turn the machine on. Okay, as you can see, our timing still is still needs to be worked on. The egg is hitting the fingers, so it's not even rolling all the way across. So what we want to do is we want to advance this chain a little bit so that it allows the egg to roll onto the lead-in rails. So we will go back to our timing chain here. Remove the master link, and I will, what I will do is I will hold this in position. So, as we saw, the egg was hitting this pin before that finger before it could roll across. So what we'll do is we'll move this forward one tooth, and then reconnect. Turn this on and then try it again. See if that see if we moved it far enough forward. Okay, as, now, as, as you can see now the egg rolls onto the rails smoothly. And it is well onto the rail before the fingers come up behind it, which is what we're looking for in a trans in the transfer. That allows the egg to go across smoothly and it makes it easy to keep distance between the eggs, regardless of the size.